Yo, what is up football exclusive fans? Welcome back to another video. It is your boy Jaden here kicking off NFL season predictions and today we're doing Chicago Bears. We're going in alphabetical order so we can get all these done. So for the next 31 days after this, we're going to be doing all the NFL teams. Um, I'm going to try my best, but since this quarantine's happening, I thought I might as well. So let's get right into this. So kicking off the Chicago Bears schedule for them in 2020 at Detroit, I think it's going to be a win for them. Um, I mean, the Bears got some good draft picks. I mean, no first rounds, but maybe, you know, there's always some hidden talent there. So, I mean, I'm, I kind of want... Mm, you know, mysterious of how they're going to play this season. So, I guess we'll find out. So, uh, week two versus the New York Giants. I think it's going to be an L. I think the New York Giants are going to recover from last season, personally. I mean, I could be wrong, but, like, based on how the draft went, um, I think they have a good chance this season going on a decent record, better than what they did last year. Week three at Atlanta. I think it's going to be a loss. Um, which, with this new Atlanta team, I mean... They kind of rebrand. I think there's going to be a new boost in confidence for this team. So I think Atlanta's going to take the win in that one. And then week four um, versus Indianapolis. I think it's going to be a win for um, Chicago um, at home. I, I think they can do it. I mean, I don't know really what's going on with the Colts, but um, draft wasn't – I mean, it was pretty good. Um, got Michael Pittman – Junior, um, so I think if they can use their offense right, it could be good. But I just think in week four, the Chicago Bears can take the win. Um, week five versus Tampa Bay, um, I think it's gonna be a loss. I mean, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I think, c could be really good this year. Uh, but they do have Tom Brady, Gronk, um, they have a powerful offense, Mike Evans. Chris Godwin, you know, they have a good offense, and I think if they use that right, the Buccaneers could be playoff contenders this season. Um, week six at Carolina, I think it's going to be a loss. Uh, Carolina with new coach. I mean, yes, he did coach college, but how are we get, how is he going to do in the NFL? That's the question. Um, so I guess we're going to find out sooner or later, but I think it's going to be a loss for them. At L.A. Rams um, for week seven. Um I think it's going to be a win for them. L.A. just hasn't really been doing great ever since they're running the Super Bowl. I don't know if they're going to be too great this year. I, I doubt it, but you never know. But that's a win for the Chicago Bears. And then in Week 8 um, versus New Orleans, I think it's going to be a loss just because New Orleans is a powerful team, powerhouse. Hit. The draft went pretty well for them, so I think that's a win for New Orleans on that one. Okay, so moving on, week nine, we have at Tennessee, Chicago Bears, I think are taking the L on that one. The Tennessee Titans were steaming and rolling last season. I think it's going to same thing's going to happen this season, but they're going to go better than 9-7. Um, I mean, um, if they, I think they should have paid Derrick Henry and Ryan Tannehill a little bit less, but, you know, that's, we're not on that topic right now. So I think Tennessee's going to hand Chicago the L on that one. So, week number 10 versus Minnesota, I think it's going to be a win for the Chicago Bears because at home, um, you know, versus Minnesota, the big rival, but I think they can get it. And then week 11 is a bye week, so no game. And then week number 12 at Green Bay, I think it's going to be a loss just because it's at Green Bay. It's a tough crowd, especially in a rival game. So, it's going to be a tough game to play, but then we're going to move on. Week 13 versus Detroit. I think it's going to be a win for the Chicago Bears. Um, uh, I think they can beat them both times this season. If they can just really make the team how it should be with these new draft picks. Moving on to versus Houston, I think that's going to be a win. Um, yes, Houston's got a decent overall team, but I think Chicago can beat them this season. And then moving on, next game at Minnesota. Yeah, it's going to be a tough game. But this is at Minnesota, so I think they're going to lose at Minnesota. But, yeah. Then moving on at Jacksonville, I think it's going to be a W. Um, just because Jacksonville has lost some players. Just haven't really been a good, solid team in a few years. And I just don't think they're not ready yet. Like, they haven't really built the team that they need to to really be, you know, a playoff contender. So I think Chicago is going to get that win. Moving on to the last and final game versus Green Bay. 
I think it's going to be an L. Just because Green Bay is a pretty solid team. I think they're going to be even better this year than they were last year. They could possibly be Super Bowl contenders. So, yeah. And that's the Chicago Bears schedule prediction. Final record, 7-9. and nine. So, that would kick them out of the playoffs. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.